That's how we do. Three, two, one, bro. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick Murphy. I'm one half of the Brothers Murph, and this is Board Game Two. Highlight. Board Game Highlight is a weekly segment where Mike or I take a game off the shelf behind us and we highlight it for you. Now, what does highlighting mean? That means we're gonna take it off the shelf and we're gonna open the game up, review it a little bit for you, go over how the game works, but mostly it's why it's on our shelf and why we love it so much. And this week, I'm gonna highlight the game, boom, Great Western Trail. Great Western Trail is a wonderful game by Eggert Spiel Games and it's a game about wrangling cattle in the old west. Yeah, it's about wrangling cattle. I will admit, I was not against this game, but I was not with this game for a long, long time. And the reason was, it just didn't look like my kind of game. It looked like a big, heavy Euro game that's dry and has no theme. And it is a big, heavy Euro game, but the theme actually shines through pretty darn well. But nonetheless, the theme seemed really boring. I was like, you're just running cattle up to Kansas City, and it's a big Alexander Pfister, like, heavy, dry Euro. So honestly, since it came out, I've never really given it much of a look because I just automatically assumed I wasn't gonna like it. Well. Turns out, I love it. Mike and I finally gave it a chance, and if you've seen our top 10 games that surprised us, it's on both of our lists. And we're gonna be doing our top 100 games soon. It's on my list, I'm not gonna say where, and I'm guaranteeing it's on Mike's list as well. So let's get Great Western Trail to the table. Let's open it up and talk a little bit about why I love it so, so much. Sweet home, Kansas City. When you ever go, how will I ever that game has nothing to do with this, and I don't even know if it really has anything to do with the South, but it's in Con Air, which is my favorite movie of all time, that's true. And Nicolas Cage, Cameron Poe in that movie is just such a good Southern old boy. So this is the box for Great Western Trail. This is it. I mentioned that I didn't have much interest in playing this game, and I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of dumb, but one of the main reasons was because of this box cover. This is my least favorite box cover in all of board games. I know everyone talks about how bad Concordia is and all these other games. No, this is the worst. This is the worst one ever. This hides such a good game under this neath this monstrosity. It's terrible. I don't get it. It's just the artist just drew the same person three times. He drew this dude, this soulless weirdo, and then he's like, you know what? I'll just draw the same soulless human again, except for I'll give him a sweet handlebar mustache. Ooh, you know what can save me some time? Drawing the same person a third time, giving him a white beard and a couple little crinkly, crinkly wrinkles, and then we got three people. Boom. I don't like it. I don't like these people, and everyone's like, well, maybe they're just families. Maybe this is a father, and these are his two sons. No, that's ridiculous. It's just, it's just garbage. And it's done this weird, like black and white kind of like Instagram sepia tone filter. Like, what is this? No one uses Instagram filters anymore. Look at these. Look at these eyes. Look at these peepers. There's no spark in those eyes. There's no soul behind there. Why is there no soul behind either of those eyes? You know why? I know why. Do you know why? It's because he's constipated. Look how constipated this dude is. He's just sitting there like, he's been sitting there eating trail beans for the last 30 years. He's been backed up. Hasn't taken a shit since 86. There's no stool softeners because we're in the Old West. The Old West wouldn't have that kind of technology yet. Now you pop a little bit of X-Lax, you're good to go. This guy didn't have that, but look at him. Why put that guy on the cover? I don't, I don't like this box cover. I really, really don't. But nonetheless, eventually I got over the box cover and decided to give the game a try. And I'm so, so glad I did because it's so so good. Let's pop open the box. Let's get past this cover because it's, it's just, it's annoying me that I can see it. Let's get rid of it. Oh, he's there again! He's right here! Why? Who are you? What is your life? Why can't you poo? I'm not gonna bore you with the whole setup thing, but one thing I did notice this time around is, look at the back of the board. What we got here? Probably a nice, like a, a Vista. No, it's just a giant version of their big dumb faces. So this is Great Western Trail. It's all its very busy, busy board glory. So the general goal of the game is to get points by running cattle up to Kansas City. Kansas City is up here in the left corner and you start down here. And this is actually um, has a bit of deck building because you're going to have a hand of cards that have different kinds of cattle in it. So here we have like Jersey cows. Here we have Dutch belt cows. And you're going to make your way through the map. Doo -doo 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 -doo, and then you're eventually going to go up to 
there it is, Kansas City. And when you get to Kansas City, you're gonna turn in your hand of cattle and you're gonna get a certain amount of points based on the value of those cattle. Like most deck builders, everyone starts off with the same starting deck, but throughout the game, you can get more cattle, the special cattle are down here, and so you can start getting better and better herds of cattle essentially to sell when you're in Kansas City. So the cool thing is, is you're using a little bit of deck building and I really love deck building games, but I also love games that use deck building as just a small part of the game and this is that. So once you go all the way through up to Kansas City, your game isn't over. You then come back over to the beginning here and you go through again and you go through again and you go through again. And how many times you go through is ultimately up to you. Sometimes I don't go through nearly as much as I do in other games. Sometimes I go through way more than my other opponents. It kind of depends on you. And that's really cool that you kind of have that choice. You have that ability to really take as long as you want, trying to gather the best hand of cows as you possibly can, or not, you can kind of blitzkrieg and just run through a whole bunch of different times. Now this game is big, this game is heavy. Some of our board game highlights, we really explain the game like Mike's Azul one. He really basically just taught the entire game. I'm not gonna do that. This game is way too big, way too heavy, and way too complicated for something like that. But I am gonna give you as much of an overview as I possibly can without boring you to death. But don't worry, I'll be doing things like this. <laughs> to keep you entertained. First, let's go over the different spots on the board. The different spots on the board are these buildings that are out here, these little hazards, which are out here like this, and then this train track over here, and then the spot with different cities up on top over here. Now, movement in this game works a little weird. Everyone is given a little rancher dude and then a little train. Now, you can see I have these off to the side. The reason for that is because we have a wonderful follower and now very good friend that we get to hang out with fairly often who's named Steve. Steve loves this game loves 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 this game and he gave us these cool things so this is like a horse that i painted blue there so you can tell us the blue pairs and this now replaces this guy so now we go want want like that which i think is super super cool and even the cooler one is this little train these cool like this metal train i think he got these on etsy which again i painted the tops blue so you can tell them apart but now we have this little train instead of this train right here so now these are the ones that we use again those don't come in the game those are a, a little bling that um one of our followers gave to us so again thank you steve you made our game so so much cooler so you take your little meeple or in our case your little horse guy and you move through as you can see there's a bunch of buildings on here and hazards but there's also a bunch of empty stuff so movement is kind of weird you start off the game with a base of three movement and you move from building to building or essentially from hazard to building basically tile to tile so i could go one two three and end my turn there so you're like oh my gosh look at all these spots it's gonna take me forever to get to kansas city wrong so that's how movement works so you can actually get up to kansas city in like two turns if you're not really stopping much and again that's where some of the strategy comes in and that's kind of goes back into like do you want to blitzkrieg and just go through kansas city a whole bunch of quick times or do you want to kind of take your time and try to build your hand a little more but then there's also this train track here this is not a score track although it kind of seems like because it it's on the edge of the board but throughout the game your train is going to be on choo 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 Kansas City girl. And basically on these spots right here, you can make train stations and put these discs that are on your board on here to claim that. And those give you points at the end of the game, but your train has to get to those spots to be able to do it. And then when you go to Kansas City to sell your cattle, you have to send your cattle somewhere. That's what these spots up here are for. These are different cities that you can send your cattle to. So there's like Wichita, and there's like Colorado Springs, and Santa Fe, and Albuquerque, and this one right here is Sacramento. That's where Mike and I are from. My only goal in this entire game is to get one of my discs on Sacramento. That's all I care about. I want to send cows to my mother because I love my mother and she loves uh, black Angus cows obviously. So that's the general board, but you also have your own little player board right over here. And this player board essentially has the different actions that you can do. This part right here is different auxiliary actions. Auxiliary actions are things that you can do when you go to a spot, but you don't actually want to do the actions there. All these buildings and stuff have different actions that you can take. You can like get more cattle or hire new ranchers or do all sorts of different stuff. But if you don't want to do them, you can do one of your auxiliary actions. And as you take off discs, 
discs, you start unlocking more things that you can do. And then this up here is your basic movement. And again, as you take off discs, you can start getting more movement. This is your hand of cards. You start at four, but you can get to five and six. And then this is ribbons you can get essentially I guess you won cattle competitions. And so if you have ribbons, when you're selling your stuff in Kansas City, you can essentially get a better score by turning in some ribbons. And then kind of the main feature here is like your employees, I suppose. You have cowboys, you have engineers, construction workers, I don't really know. And then you have conductors, as we call them, Cowboy Steve, Engineer Earl, and Conductor Carl. And yes, it's the weird, creepy people from the front of the box, the back of the board, the rule book, everywhere. They're, I have to look at these people so much. Including on the back of all these cattle cards. Look, there's a, another version of them. I don't get it. Why are you so backed up? Dude, you're in LA now. You're with me. You're in LA. Just go on a cleanse. Just go on a cleanse. They're so easy to do. Thank God this ice mocha is part of my cleanse. Thank God this brownie is part of my cleanse. Thank God cocaine is part of my cleanse. <laughs> All I'm saying is this problems will be solved, okay? And then you also can get objectives. The objective cards are up here. Throughout the game, you can get different objectives. This one means you need a level three cattle card, a level four cattle card, and you need to put out a building. The objectives give you points at the end of the game. You have your buildings here, and you have a whole bunch of different buildings that do different stuff, and they're all worth a certain amount of points, and they cost a certain amount of money and workers to put onto the board. And you also have your hand of cattle right here. Again, you start off with a basic cattle. You have your discard pile and you have your draw pile because again, this is a deck builder. And your cattle cards are awesome because you get to learn about different kind of cows. Like this one's a, a Guernsey. This one's a Black Angus. You got Jersey cows and you got, you got, uh, you got, where are they? You got Dutch belts, which are my favorite because look, they just got a big white middle. They're like, they're like freaking Oreos. We should call them Oreos, not Dutch belts. The Dutch ruin everything. So that's your general player board. So now what do you do in this game? The three main strategies revolve around these three people, Cowboy Steve's, Engineer Earl's, and Conductor Carl's. Throughout the game, there are certain spots on the board, certain buildings that allow you to hire more people. Over here is where you hire more people like Cowboy Steve or Conductor Carl. And when you hire them, you get to put them on your board right here. And the more of the people that you have the cheaper and easier and better you are at doing the different things. Cowboy Steve here is good at getting cattle. When you come across a spot on the board that allows you to buy new cattle, the more Cowboy Steves you have, the more cattle you can buy, and more importantly, the cheaper you can buy them. Of the better cattle, there's three different types of threes, one four and one five. So throughout the game, you're trying to get more and more different kinds of cattle into your hand because you want to diversify your herd. And having better cattle at the end of the game also gives you points. All these cows on there have points attached to them. So you may want to go all cattle route and get a whole bunch of cowboys and just have a whole bunch of cows and be like, I am the cow master. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you want to go buildings. Maybe you want to put a whole bunch of your buildings out here on the board and you're like, yes, I am the builder. I build things. I'm also not very articulate. So I, I just, I, I build things. It's cool to have a bunch of your buildings out here because when you are coming through, when you are on one of your buildings, you can use it but no one else can. If Mike came onto one of my buildings, he can't use the actions on here. He has to use one of his auxiliary actions, which is fun, auxiliary actions are cool, but if you put a whole bunch of your buildings out on the board, you're essentially clogging up the path to Kansas City for other people. It's gonna take more of their movement points to get through the world, and they're constantly gonna have to stop on your spots. And you build buildings with your engineer Earls, the orange guys here, you get more of them. All the buildings have a different Earl rating, as we call it. The beginning ones, you just need a one, but those are the basic buildings, and they go up and up and up, and they get more expensive, but the more Earls you have the more kinds of buildings you can buy and as I'm sure you can understand the better buildings cost more so if you can get one of those buildings that cost six or seven of your earls out there man that is a great building that only you can use and on top of that each building gives you points at the end of the games so maybe you want to get a bunch of engineer earls and put a whole bunch of buildings on the board or maybe you all about that choo-choo train you all about that caboose and all you want to do is go along this track and put down different train stations well to do that you need conductor carls you 
you need this old weird guy right here and he's gonna sit in the front of the train and be like nah, 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 nah. I am on a train. There are certain spots on the board that allow you to advance your choo-choo train along this track based on how many conductor cars you have. So that means the more you have, the more you get to go. If I only have one, and you always do start off with one of each person on here, if I only have one, I'm only gonna get to go my one spot. But if I have six of them, I'll get to go one, two, three, four, five, six, every single time I come across one of those spots on the board. Because there are these spots on the board, these are different train stations that I can claim. So if I come and I go along here and stop right here, I can pay whatever money is on here, take one of my discs and go boom and put it right there and now that one's mine. At the end of the game, it's gonna give me a lot of points. And if you claim a spot up here, you can take one of your discs and put it right here and then you get one of these. Now you do have to take one of your people, whether it's Conductor Carl, an Engineer Earl, or a Cowboy Steve, and you have to replace it up there because now you're essentially, you're the one manning that train station. But now you get this, which gives you immediate ability or an ongoing ability, and also gives you kind of a, almost kind of a loose objective to kind of go for. And these can be really valuable and worth a lot of points at the end of the game. So going Conductor Carl is a great method as well. And so one thing I really love about this game is the fact that you can choose which route you wanna go. And all of those are viable strategies. That's one thing I love about big heavy Euro games is they usually offer that, that, that multiple path to victory kind of game where you can really play the game that you want to play and kind of see if it works. So what progresses the game? What progresses the game is you go into Kansas City. If you get your person all the way up to Kansas City, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five steps you have to take. They're very, very quick, so it's not a big deal. But the first one is, is you have to take a new hazard, which are all these one tiles, and you have to put it out on the board. So I'm gonna choose this water hazard, put it out here. And then you have to go to the number two, which means you choose a new worker, and you put them out right here. And when you put the worker right there, this gets pushed down. And then the next worker would go here, and then here, and then this gets pushed down. Once this gets pushed all the way off the board, that's when the game ends, which is a really weird mechanic, but it totally works. And I really like it a lot. And then you go number three, which is either a hazard or a person, and you put them out, and then you go to Kansas City. And when you go to Kansas City, you turn in your hand of cattle, whatever you ended up with. So in this situation, I have two Jersey cows and two Dutch belt cows. Now this is a hot garbage hand. And the reason is, is because when you're in Kansas City, you want unique cattle. You only get points for unique cattle cattle. So in this situation, one of these Dutch belts and one of these Jersey cows isn't going to count at all. And I'm left with a score of three. That's really, really bad. You don't want that. What you want instead is you want something like this. Let me find me a Guernsey cow. Boom. In this situation, I have one level two white one level two black, level two green, and then my level one Jersey cow. And now I have a hand worth seven and they're all different kinds of cattle. So I can turn in this entire hand and get seven points. So that means I'm gonna get seven money and then I get to take one of my discs and put it up here on one of the spots. Each one of these city spots like San Francisco or San Diego or Santa Fe has a number beneath it. Whatever you sell your cattle at, if you are at or above that number, you get to put one of your discs there. Which is great because once you have discs on either side, that means you're gonna get whatever's in the middle. A lot of times it's points. Sometimes over here you get to draw objectives. But if it's down here, you start getting negative points. That's because you didn't take your cattle very far. You didn't have a good enough hand to get out of the Midwest, really. You couldn't even get to Colorado. Colorado's not even that far, but you couldn't get your cattle there. That's not good. If you can't get at least that far, you're gonna start getting negative points. So it behooves you to have a really good hand with really diverse cattle. And then last Last thing you do when you go to Kansas City is there are these road stops right here, these little X's, X, 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 wherever you put your disc, let's say I put this one down right here, wherever you put your disc, however many of those little X's are in between that disc and your train, you're gonna lose that much money. Now, that's not a huge, huge deal, but if I just put one of my discs over here in San Francisco and then my train is all the way back here, I'm gonna lose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars which basically means 
Even though you got to San Francisco, you're gonna lose basically all the money you just made. So that's just another incentive for you to move your train with your conductor Carl's up this track, because if not, every time you go to Kansas, you're gonna be losing some money. And then once you're completely done in Kansas City, you come right back here and you go through and do the whole thing again. And like I said, every time you go to Kansas City, someone's gonna have to put at least one person out here and it's gonna slowly go down, 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 until it goes off and then that is gonna be the end of the game. And there are a whole bunch of different ways to get points. You get points for buildings, you get points for these train stations, your cattle cars, you get points for being the one to push this thing off there, you get points for, basically there's a lot of different ways to get points. So that is a very, very convoluted, slapdash quick overview of the game but all the things i said i love i love the fact there's so many different strategies you can take i love the movement in the game i like going from building to building all the buildings do different stuff you can get cattle you can do this you can do that you can do this and it's just there's so much to think about the first few times you play this game it's gonna break you a little bit because you just don't know what to do you don't know what to go for and now that is a bit of a drawback but at the same time this is one of those games where after you play it, you can't stop thinking about it. You're just going like, what could I have done differently? Should I have gone to this building? Like, should I have taken this strategy instead? And that kind of game is one that is one for the ages, is those kinds of games that just make you think about them, make you obsess over them. And that was how it was after the first time I played it. I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I was just like, Mike, we gotta play Great Russian Trail. And we ended up getting it. And, and I showed it to Mike and he was the same way. He's just like, huh? Oh man, this is interesting, this is interesting. And and that was kind of the way we went about it, it was just being like, man, this is interesting, until we played it again, and then we played it again, and then we played it again, and I absolutely adore it. One of the drawbacks is the fact that it's a big heavy Euro. I mean, not a drawback for everyone, but it is one of those things, the first few times you play it, you're gonna get rules wrong. There's a ton of little rules, and there's multiple times where we found out, we're like, oh, been playing that wrong. And that's okay, because that's kind of like board games in general. The ideal situation is if you can find someone who really knows the game, really loves the game, have them teach it to you, that's the best way to learn the game. Because otherwise it could be a little bit tough. But that's all right, because that's what this kind of game is, and it doesn't pretend to be anything else. It doesn't pretend to be this like really easy, like, oh no, man, everyone can play. No, this is a big, heavy, somewhat dry Euro game. But let's go back to the dryness. It's not nearly as dry as you think it's gonna be. The theme is actually really great. There's a ton of Westerns out there. It's like Western Legends is really, really hot right now. There's all these different kind of Western games, but they're all like pew, 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 shoot them up kind of games. Like let's let's go loot town, let's go down to the saloon. But this isn't that game. This is a game set in the older West, but it's not about that. There's no saloon. You're driving cattle, which at first I was like, that is a bunk ass theme. But once we started playing it, I was like, I actually really, really like this theme. Cause you know what? It's different. There aren't any games about running cattle. I like the fact that there's all these different kinds. I'm like, oh, look at this like Western Highland with this sweet ass brow ridge. I love that. I love getting all the different kinds of cows. And I actually think it's a pretty interesting theme, just running them to Kansas City and then trying to sell them as far away as you possibly can. Can you get your cattle all the way to San Francisco? If you can, that is crazy. That's so far away, that's awesome. And that really blew me away, the fact that I liked the theme as much as I did. But ultimately the game is amazing. It's one of those games that I really think everyone who likes heavier games needs to try. So that is a big video about a big game. I'm sorry if it was mostly gameplay, me talking about that. I tried to stick in why I love it during the gameplay. It's just one of those monstrosity type games that is hard to teach, hard to talk about, hard to describe, but I wanted to try because this game is that amazing. I'm not gonna lie, this is the second time I filmed this board game highlight. I did this all the way through, one time through, and then went, I didn't say anything that made sense because this game needs more. I had to sit there and outline what I was gonna talk about. I don't do that very often, actually physically outline something because I generally don't need to. I can have an outline in my head and that's all I need. But this game, I had to because it's that big and there's that much to go over. But nonetheless, that is my attempt at doing a board game highlight about a game this big. I love, love, love this game. And every time I play it, I like it even more. So please let me know down in the comments, what do you think about Great Western Trail? I know Steve loves it. He'll probably tell you in the comments. Comments. But what about everyone else? Do you like Red Western Trail as much as I do? Do you hate it? Have you not tried it? Have you not tried it because of the horrible box cover? I hear you. 
I hear you, but you should. And please also down in the comments, let us know what game you want us to highlight next. We have a whole bunch of games behind us and we want to talk about them all. And please remember to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We have a new board game highlight that comes out every single week. We have a whole bunch of other cool, fun stuff on our channel as well. So check it all out. And until next time, you've been checking out Great Western Trail with me here on Board Game Highlight. Have a good one.